even your math teacher, even me, I, I mean, I made the stupid problem. I look at this and I'm like, oh God, what were you thinking, Mr. Smith? Come on now. Um, there's three functions, we got all these intervals, all this kind of crazy stuff is going on here. But let's try to break this down so it's a little more manageable. All right, when x is less than negative one, we're gonna have this graph right here, negative two to the negative x. So let's just graph him kind of in the margin somewhere over here and just get a quick graph of him. Now remember, two to the x should look like this guy. But when we make x negative and y negative, well, let's just look at one of them. When we make the y negative, when we make the whole function negative, that reflects our graph over the y-axis. So instead of being up here, it's going to be here. Like that. It reflects it over the y-axis. I'm sorry, the x-axis. Reflects it over the x-axis. It makes all the y-values negative. So positive y-value up here becomes a negative y-value down here. When we make x negative, that reverses all of our x's. So that's going to reflect this red graph over the y-axis. So instead of having an asymptote on the left side and getting big like this, it's going to have an asymptote on the right side and get big like this. So that green one is what negative 2 to the negative x would look like. The blue one is 2 to the x, and the red one, red one is negative 2 to the x. So all I did was, again, the blue one 2 to the x, making the whole thing negative reflects it over the x-axis, making the x negative reflects it over the y-axis. So our graph that we really want is in blue here, I mean green, <laughs> Whew, is in green here, and it looks like this. But I only want this graph when x is less than negative 1. So over on this graph, when x is less than negative 1, here's, here's negative 1 right here, we should have some graph swooping in like this. All I'm going to do is pick a few x values and find out what, what I'm going to get. So first I'm going to pick negative 1 and find out what this is going to equal. So let's get rid of this graph. We know what it's going to look like now. Let's just find out exactly where it's going to be. So if x is negative 1, we get negative 2 to the positive 1. Well, that's negative 2. When x is negative 2, we get negative 2 to the positive 2. Well, 2 to the second is 4, and then we're making a negative. So that is negative 4. When x is negative 3, we have 2 to the positive 3, which is 8, and the negative of that is negative 8. And that's probably enough. So negative 1, negative 2 is where our graph is going to stop, and there's an open circle there. So in negative 1, negative 2, we have an open circle. Then we have negative 2, negative 4 it goes through, negative 3, negative 8 that it goes through, and it just looks, remember, we said it was this little swooping guy like this. And it should, it should keep coming like this and have this asymptote here, but the graph stops, so that's not there. So get out of there. All right, the next piece of our function is only between 0 and 1. No problem. From 0 to 1, we want to graph log base 2 of x. Well, remember, log base 2 of x, we graphed this thing already. He looks like this guy, and he goes through x equals 1 right there. Because if x is 1, you get log base 2. I'll write this out again. I'm hoping you guys are getting logs pretty good here. You get 2, log base 2 of 1. Well, that says 2 to what power is 1? Well, 2 to the 0 is 1. So, when... Now... This is um, when x is equal to 1 here, less than or equal to 1. So when x is 1, log base 2 of 1 is 0. That has nothing to do with this 0, by the way. When x is 1, log base 2 of 1 is 0. So that's a point on my graph, 1, 0. And that's, that's where this piece is going to end, at 1, 0. That's right here. Now, this also is defined from 0 to 1. So not just 1, but 0 to 1. I just found the endpoint at 1. So let's find the other, other point or other endpoint at zero. Well, again, this thing looks like this. Well, at zero, you can't take log two, log base two of zero. It's undefined because there's an asymptote there. So, and actually we can make this even easier. This is what log base two of x looks like, but we only want it from zero to one. So really we just want to cross out this whole dumb part up here. It just goes from zero to one, it looks like that. Well, that looks like this. Just like that. If we were allowed to keep going, then the log would kind of branch out like this. But we can't. We only want to go up to 1. So there we go. And our next piece of our function, that made that a little bit easier for us. The next piece of our function is a parabola, x minus 3, x plus 1. Well, that guy has a 0 at negative 1 and 3. Its vertex is going to be at, in the middle of the two zeros, so that's 1 and a half. Um, and the parabola should look like this guy. But we only want that for when x is greater than 1. So we should have an open circle at 1, and then the parabola should go 
to the right. So we don't want this piece back here. That's what this is going to look like. So I know it has to have a 0 at 3. 1, 2, 3. And it has to start when x is 1. There's an open circle. So I'm going to plug 1 in and figure out where that circle is going to be. So when you plug in 1, you get negative 2 times 2. And that's negative 4. So 1, negative 4 is where this graph starts. And it's a parabola, so it just opens up like that. I'll plug in a few more values just to find out what we're going to get. So when I plug in 2, I get negative 1 times 3, or negative 3. When you plug in 3, you get 0. When you plug in 4, you get 1 times 5. Well, that's 5. There you go. And this is just a parabola that does this. So this is not super pretty. But all it is is three pieces of this graph. The first piece was negative 2 to the negative x. That's right here. Negative 2 to the negative x. And it was an open circle because it goes up 2 but does not include negative 1. The second piece was log base 2 of x from 0 to 1. That was right here. And we included 1 because it's equal to. We couldn't include 0 because it doesn't say to include 0. And also the log is not defined there anyway. And the last piece, I'll do it in highlighter. The last piece was x minus 3x plus 1 from 1 and above. Well, that's this piece right here. So it's three pieces of our graph.